Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a little video talking about how your sun sign and degree can actually show you the best type of morning routine that could be suited for you. So for me personally, um, I have my son in Gemini at the 26th degree of Taurus. So for me personally, I love to write um, and writing in the morning really helps me to kind of just get like my mind in the right place. On top of that, immersing myself in a very like relaxing like beauty routine also really helps me a lot. So skincare is a huge thing for me. Um, so for example, I'm going to show you guys like what I like to do in the morning for my skincare routine um, and the things that I like to do just to kind of get my day started on the right foot. So for starters, I have this uh, moisturizer that I love uh, from a brand called Corez. So that's it right there. And it's a really great moisturizer. Um, it has like hyaluronic acid in it. Um, and the smell is also really nice and subtle. Like it's nothing like insane. Like some, like some, some moisturizers are just so, they're just like so intense in terms of the smell. But this one is just nice and subtle. Um, and it really does hydrate the skin really nicely. So I like that. Definitely really like um, this moisturizer. Um, I also have been using this Caudalie. I featured this in my last video. But I've been using this Caudalie serum as well, which is really nice. Um, so I'm just going to put that on top of the moisturizer here. I also love that the way that this smells as well because the smell isn't very intense. I'm very sensitive to smells, especially because I do have my son at 26 degree of Taurus and Taurus is a sign and an energy that's associated with like smells and perfumes. And then even like in my sidereal chart, I have Mercury and Taurus as well. So, you know, smells can really, you know, play a very significant role with like how I think and how I feel and just overall it can really play a significant role when it comes to like my own like mental well-being <laughs> so I know it sounds a little intense but like it's just kind of the reality of having Taurus placements you tend to be very sensitive to smells but we also tend to like be very good at picking out perfumes or colognes or both so yeah anyways so let's get this video started okay let's get this video started shall we so let's just say you have your son in Aries or at the first, 13th, or 25th degree. Working out in the morning could be such a fantastic way for you to get your, your day started. Like that could be something that really helps you to just feel motivated and energized and just helps you to get your foot forward in the right direction. If you have your son in Taurus or at the second, 14th, or 26th degree, I promise you investing in a good diffuser is going to do wonders for you. Aromatherapy, like aromatherapy oils and essential oils and using them when you get up in the morning could be a really great way for you to get your day started. So just like keep that in mind. Now, if you have a Gemini sun like me <laughs> or you have your sun at the 3rd, 15th or 27th degree, this could mean that writing in the morning could be great for you and also going for a walk or going for a little drive, you know? Give yourself some extra time in the morning to do those things. Like that could really help a lot with your mental health, but also help you just to get like your day started on the right foot. If you have a cancer sun or your sun is at the 4th, 16th or 28th degree. If you have a cancer sun or your sun is at the 4th, 16th or 28th degree, this could mean that in the morning, have a bubble bath. That could be a really great way for you to get your day started. And it can also help a lot with your mental health as well. Now, if you have a Leo sun or your sun is at the 5th, 17th, or 29th degree, have a nice cup of lemon tea in the morning. Leo is a sign and an energy that can be associated with lemons or things that are very citrusy. It also can even be associated with honey too. So like add some honey in there. I mean, if you can, if you can, <laughs> I know that not everyone eats honey, um, but yeah, you could also add some honey to that tea and that in of itself could be a really great way to get your day started. Also, I would definitely also recommend that you get like a sunstone crystal, or like meditate with it in the morning. Like that could also help a lot with optimism and keeping your moods and just like keeping your mood in a good place. So I definitely would recommend that you get a sunstone crystal. Now, if you have your sun in Virgo or at the sixth or the 18th degree, 
this could mean that starting your day watching like cute little videos of animals could be a really great way to get your day started. I'd also even recommend that if you have that placement to do some yoga in the morning, like that could be a really great like habit to make out of like out of the morning. So I would definitely recommend that you do that for sure. Um, if you have a Libra sun or your sun is at the seventh or the 19th degree, this could mean that having a nice skincare routine in the morning that you follow could be a great way to get your, your day started. Also, one thing I would even recommend that you do in the morning is like read a nice poem, especially like a self-love poem. That could be a great way to get like your mind in the right place, but also help you to like, you know, embrace that self-love that you need in order to get your day started. Really start your day off with self-love, you know, start your day off doing something very peaceful. You know, one thing I'd also recommend for Libra suns or, or people that have their their um, their sun at the 7th or the 19th degree is to start your day off doing something very like peaceful and quiet, right? Like try your best to like not get into like a routine or a habit of like listening to really loud things in the morning. Like just try to have like your peace and quiet as, as much as you can because I know that that doesn't apply to everyone, but that could be like really important to do. So like even if that means like getting up earlier than everyone else at home and just like having like your quiet time, that could be really important for you and that could be something that's also very peaceful for you. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you have a Scorpio sun or your sun is at the 8th or the 20th degree, this means that you should start your day watching something that empowers you. So like watch like a very like self-empowerment speech or like listen like or watch a video that's that that covers that type of topic and that that type of discussion. It's really important that you start off your day feeling powerful so that you can continue just to like move forward and like self-empowerment podcasts or like videos could be a really great thing for you to do and like to like listen to. So uh, definitely recommend that you do that if you have a Scorpio sun. Um, if you have a Sagittarius sun or your sun is at the ninth or the 21st degree, that could mean that like starting your day off learning something could be a great way to get your day started. It doesn't even have to be anything like too technical or too difficult to like learn, like learn something new each day. Like that could help you to stay like, you know, inspired and also help you to keep yourself like open-minded and just help you just like to keep yourself like optimistic and feeling like really positive. So that could, that could also be great to do as well. Um, also, if you do have a Sagittarius sun or your sun is at the ninth or the 21st degree, practice some gratitude in the morning, you know? So think about things that you're grateful for each day. Like that could just really help to keep yourself in a good like vibration and also just help to keep your energy high you know and on top of that that could also just to help you to keep yourself feeling like happy and optimistic and and hopeful so that could also be a great thing for you to do if you have those placements in your chart now if you have a capricorn sun or your sun is at the 10th or the 22nd degree this also kind of applies to what i was mentioning before about libra suns i, I think it's really important that especially if you have a capricorn sun or your sun is at a Capricorn degree that you have quiet time in the morning. So, you know, spend some time alone with yourself in the morning and give yourself time just to like really like recalibrate your energy and just get your energy going before you give it to other people. That's really important for Capricorn suns. Um, another thing that could also be a great thing for you is to spend some time out into nature. So, you know, go to like your local park in the morning and just like sit in quiet, like sit in silence and just kind of you know, um, embrace the energy and observe what's going around you. I think that's also really important for people that have a Capricorn sun or their sun at the 10th or the 22nd degree. So just keep that in mind. Now, one thing I'd even recommend for people that, uh, that do have a Capricorn sun or their sun at Capricorn degrees is to drink certain tea. So for example, like Earl Grey tea, matcha. Oh my gosh, matcha. If, if you have a Capricorn sun, or you have your sun at Capricorn degrees, starting your day off with like green tea or matcha could be a great way to get your day started. And it also could be a great source of energy too. So keep that in mind. Now, if you have an Aquarius sun or your sun is at the 11th or the 23rd degree, very, very important that you start off your day by looking at like at a vision board. So like look at things that remind you of your goals or things that you want to achieve for the day. And it doesn't even have to be super like, it doesn't have to be like anything like super extravagant or like anything like super like, you know, out there, it could also just be something like little, but like have like a visual representation of like what you want to like, like achieve for yourself for the day. And that in of itself could be something that you might really benefit from doing like on a, on a routine basis. So definitely keep that in mind for sure. Now, if you have a Pisces sun or your sun is at the 12th or the 24th degree, this means that meditation and meditating in the morning could be a great way to get your day started. I definitely recommend that you do that. More specifically, you could also even like listen to certain frequencies. I would definitely recommend that you even like listen to the crown chakra frequency, which is 963HZ. 
that could just really help to clear your mind and also just help you to like really you know connect with your spirituality and like your intuition and help you to like strengthen that for the day um, I'd also even recommend that you even uh, listen to the root chakra frequency because that can also help you to keep you grounded as well um, and just help you to feel like very disciplined and structured and just very like on top of things. So you could listen to either of those frequencies uh, depending on how you're feeling. So definitely something to pay attention to for sure. And I definitely do think that could be really helpful for you guys. Um, you can also even listen to uh, the third eye chakra frequency. That could also be a great frequency to listen to that can help to strengthen your intuition and help you to just like, you know, be guided in the right direction for the day. So listening to frequencies and, you know, meditating in the morning could be a great way to get your day started. So definitely something to keep in mind for sure. Anyways, I also have a Gemini sun and I figured, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk. So I'm going to take you guys with me and take you to one of my happy places in my neighborhood. So let's go. Okay guys, look at this. This is my little happy place. Um, this is actually nearby my elementary school. And I'm basically like on the track. So like there's like a, a huge track. I'll actually show you. I'll, I'll show you in the, next, in the next cut. But I just love how the trees just like encompass this area. So yeah, I don't know. They also like have like a little garden here and everything so yeah I just thought I, I just thought that was really cute so this is my old elementary school and then in the same yard you have the middle school so I actually went to school with a lot of the same people um, because I mean look look how close every, look how close it was right literally in the same yard so it was a very interesting like kind of situation um, in terms of all of these things, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I want to say thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm really sorry if my videos are kind of, like, all over the place. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what my style is and what like my own rhythm is on YouTube like so I'm just trying to experiment so you know I think I think this process will be fun though I'm really trying my best to like not be too hard on myself when it comes to the creative process when it comes to like making these kinds of videos because I want to have fun with it I also don't want to be like a traditional astrology channel where I just be like okay this is what venus in the fifth house means and then just like have like a white background like i actually want to show you guys different aspects of my life and vlog and and integrate all of the two things together because i think it's important to diversify the things that you do and not just stick to one thing i also have a lot of mutable energy in my chart anyway so i don't like to be confined to like one thing and like do like one thing so yeah anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know what kind of video you want to see next and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.